All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about working with detailed title animations inside of Adobe Premiere without having to go to After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. The one thing that I extremely dislike about Adobe Premiere is creating title animations. I never animate titles in Adobe Premiere. I actually don't do any motion graphic work in Adobe Premiere. However, one of my friends who's an author on VideoHive.net has created a new pack for Adobe Premiere called the 700 Motion Title Presets, which these are all pre-made title animations, which allows us to drag and drop detailed title animations that we would have had to create inside of After Effects and we get to do this within Adobe Premiere and we get to save a ton of time while doing that. So I really wanted to take this time to show off my friend's new pack, but also give you an opportunity to see how these detailed titles work and see if it can help you save time and increase the value of your work. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe Premiere and we have two titles in here without any animation applied to it. And if we want to make these titles a little bit more appealing, we would have to jump over to After Effects or we have to do some animation inside of Premiere, which I hate doing animation inside of Premiere. And that's why I'm taking a look at this motion text presets uh, pack for Adobe Premiere. And simply how this project works is that there is a Premiere project file that you import to your current Premiere project and it'll automatically load up here. And it'll ask you how you want to import your project. You just need to check on create folder for imported items and allow importing duplicate media. And click OK. So now it imported an entire project file into our current project inside of Premiere. So we still only have one project to work with and there's three transitions folders in here in middle and out. And before we apply any animations to our titles, we need to make sure that the insert and overwrite sequences as nest or individual clips is unselected so it's grayed out. And you need to untoggle track V1 right here. So when you have your title layers ready to go, what you do is you select all your titles and you can right click them and click on nest and we'll have this saved as a nested sequence and we can double click go into our nested sequence and now we can apply our transitions and simply we have three categories in here and we go to say to our in transition and we can find a transition that we like so maybe we'll do like a panoramic and we'll do like a fast one and we can grab one of these sequences and we'll just apply it right above our footage and now we applied our first transition to our first title and it also comes with a sound effect here which is really cool then we can go ahead and go to our middle transitions or animations and we can go apply another one so maybe we'll just do like something cool center and we'll just have to apply this transition to the middle of the cut and now boom it goes right to the next title transition and then obviously we have our you know out transitions or out animations and we can do something cool so maybe we'll do like warp and you know we have a handful of transitions in here and we'll apply this as our out so literally within like 30 seconds we applied in middle and out animations to both of our titles really quick and really what's cool about this is that these are the first three transition animations that i apply to our titles and they look really good so you know there's 700 of these titles in here and you know i'm really excited to take a look at a few other ones maybe we'll come here through glass and we'll take a look at this yeah it's pretty interesting let's go ahead and go to our middle transitions time to do like a glitch transition and there's gonna be a handful of these look how many we have we have just in one folder about 17 transitions and we can come here and apply our glitch transition and with our glitch transition applied, it just adds a little quick glitch to that. And that's really cool. And then we'll maybe we'll just do one more out transition. And now with our out animation, it just zooms out like that. So it's a really cool way to quickly add some extra, you know, animation to our, you know, titles here really quick. And that's really cool. So, you know, definitely something for us to take a look at. So overall, I'm going to say that this pack is really awesome because I hate doing animations inside of Adobe Premiere. And also the animations in this pack, these motion text presets, uh, you can't do these animations easily inside of Premiere, so that's really the awesome uh, you know, plus side to using this animation pack is that you can do animations that you know no one else can in Premiere. So this helps you save a lot of time not having to go to After Effects and you're able to produce higher quality work within a matter you know, of under a minute depending on how many titles you're working with. So that is really cool and you get 700 motion text presets. So if you want to check out all these motion text presets, go ahead and check that link in the video description. It'll take you right over to the all 700 text presets where you can view every single animation. So that is our review on the 700 motion title presets for Adobe Premiere. If you want to learn more about these title presets, you can check the links in the video description. So I hope you found this video insightful. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.